Hey guys, World Eater here. So, there's a lot to go over. I actually was able to get quite a lot of gear recently. I popped one of my bit gores and used up pretty much all of my resources just so I can catch up on the Let's Play. I don't recommend doing that. I um, only did it because Mobileversary was here and I felt like it would be the best way to catch up and uh, gain a little bit of stuff. Not to mention it would help me get Mythic Materials if I go to here. You'll see that I got quite a bit of Mythic Materials especially because of that um, mobileversary that just went on. Um, sadly, it's over, so I can't really take advantage of the bonuses, but oh well. So I have three maxed out legendary uh, tier 11s, and I got the ones from World Boss, so they give me 3% electric damage, so it's always nice to have bonuses on your legendaries. That's great. I got three, um, or yeah, three epics all maxed out, and they also have bonuses. It's fire resistance, so it doesn't really matter, I don't think. And uh, just in case, I actually was able to get the Mythic Neck from the raid, surprisingly. Um, so I went ahead and I maxed it out. I wasn't able to get any other neck that wasn't uh, set or epic. So um, I had to get, I had to upgrade this. And um, I never got any rings either. It was unfortunate. So that's my backup. I know it's, <laughs> it gives quite a good bonus, but I'm pretty sure um, depending on your accessory, you can do it with just a neck. And if not, then you would have to do a neck and ring added onto this. But we're going to go ahead and find that out right now. Let's go and go to quest. Okay. Okay. Let's see if we got this. Clear the dungeon of all enemies. Okay. This is going to be the loot. Anything good here? Doesn't seem like it. Okay. So far, it's just going to be the Melvin's pictures. Yeah, there's nothing else here. Okay. So we're just going to be going for enchants, if anything. Now, I'm still running as bait. As you can see, I have lower health than Omo. Just barely. That way, if they have attack weakest, it'll attack me first. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it like this, and we'll go ahead and see how the layout should be. Let's check out these new familiars. Okay. These guys look pretty cool. Okay. Ooh. Scary. Um, okay. Fire damage to the closest enemy deals fire damage to a random enemy. So they have fire damage, which is a good thing that I got these epics. So closest and random. The random is scary. Their speed is okay. But um, again, uh, they seem like they're gonna be a tank for right now. Let's check this guy on the back. 300, we have to take this guy out ASAP. Honestly, just, just seeing that, you can tell you have to take him out ASAP. Okay, so closest. And then we have weakest. And then we have all enemies, so we're definitely going to have to take out this guy. This guy seems like he's going to hit pretty hard. Okay, so right now I have the sword equipped. I have other options that I'll go ahead and show you on a sec, but for right now we're going to have to use a sword. Okay. Ooh, not looking good for him right now. Let's see if we can target the guy on the back. Ooh, he does a lot of damage. Or he, he doesn't take that much damage. I just do such a little damage. Oh my. Okay, um, let's try random. Nice. Okay, let's try drain. Closest, closest, closest. And we'll poke him out. Actually, wait, is this an attack? Close to three, nice, perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna heal up, drain, and then I'm gonna spam my zero SP, perfect. Okay, so, so far the two enemies, I do recommend targeting out the little spider guy in the back. This little chili pepper guy ain't too bad. Let's get this guy's name. Corzamin, Corzamin ain't too bad. Corzamin's looks pretty cool. It looks like this is all Melvin themed, which is pretty awesome. Yeah, the little Melvin tank in the back. I like this area a lot. And Zazgath, Zaz, I'll just call him Zaz. Zazzy over here. He's pretty cool, but um, yeah, he's pretty dangerous. So I don't like dangerous. Let's go ahead and kill him real quick. Target him in the back. Let's do a random. Nice. Drain. Attack closest to to take them out. Closest, closest, closest. We're gonna heal up. Okay, then we're gonna do a lot of damage. We're gonna poke out. No, we're just gonna do zero SP. Let's save up some SP for us. I think we're gonna do good here. Let's heal up. Nice, okay. Let's drain for him. Perfect, okay. So it seems like it's only gonna be these two enemies so far. They don't seem too bad, man. This area looks really cool. I remember playing this on my other account. I was actually struggling quite a bit. I don't feel safe enough to auto, so I'm going to be manualing this whole dungeon. Okay. I could do closest three. How much is closest three? It does 2,700 at most. Oh, that does 5,000 at most. This does nothing, really. So, I'm not going to use that ability at all. Oh, does he have some kind of resistance or something? He is not taking any damage at all. I feel like we are going to need that extra TS because this is looking 
mighty scary. Okay. To heal. Closest, closest, closest. Okay. I'm feeling so weak right now. Let me go ahead and see what weapons I have. So these are my skills, by the way. Let me show you again. Now, the weapons I have are... We have that, which gives me the resistance, which is why I kind of want to lose it. We have a 2% air resistance here on the wand here. But again, I don't know if it'll help. And then I have the Devil's Whisper. I can try the Devil's Whisper because um, I know it'll attack backline pretty well. Let me check it out, actually. Closest target enemy. See, the target enemy is going to be really nice. And then all enemies, which doesn't hit too bad. The furthest one is the one I want to try. So we're going to try the bow real quick and see how that holds up. Since there's no healing on the sword as it is, I don't think, um, it shouldn't make a dramatic difference at all. Okay, so this is a full team here. Um, let's go ahead and do... Hmm, what would be the best option? I guess we'll just do the closest by targeting him. And he evaded. <laughs> nice. Okay, nice! That was a really nice empowered crit. Let's just do a lot of strong attacks here. Okay, wow. Reduced by 16%. They seem to have damage reduction here. Okay. Now these guys are pretty easy. It's just when you have a tank up front and they have enough time to get that SP and smack you around, they hit pretty hard. So you just got to be careful. Okay, let's come over here. Okay, there's a lot of these guys. Let's target the guy up front first. I think that would actually be the best option. Yes, so now we can just keep using our closest. Heal him up. I'm actually going to swap spots with him for right now so he can heal up a bit. Again, I do have a higher deflect percentage, I believe, so I will be actually. Do these guys have. Where this again? What do they have? Weakest and all enemies. They're just poking him out with all enemies. Okay. We got to take out the guys with the SP for sure. He has to heal up really bad. Okay, cool. This other guy's about to get one SP, so we're going to get hit by all enemies probably or random. Or weakest, sorry. Let's go ahead and use that. Swap me back to the back here. Have him drain, arrow, 0 SP, 0 SP, 0 SP. Heal up a little bit, drain, and then we should be able to... Yeah, pretty cool. Awesome. Nice. Okay, get me gold. Okay, here's one of them chili pepper dudes. I always forget their names. Corzamin, Corzamin. I gotta remember that. I didn't think I saw his animation, so let's check them out. Little jab. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Okay, I'm just going to random, closest, target closest, closest, do heavy hit closest, zero SP, heal, closest, target closest, closest, high damage closest, closest, heal, closest, 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 heal, high damage, Closest, closest, closest. I'm just going to keep spamming zero and heals. That seems like the best option for me. Okay. And that looks like it's going to be the end of this dungeon. Nice. That dual strike and power hit was pretty bad. Nice. Okay. So we got some gold and XPs, which is pretty great. Um, it seems like we are going to be having some trouble here. I don't feel quite comfortable going through this, honestly. I feel like it's going to be very difficult. So we're going to go to flag number two here, which is clear the dungeon of all enemies. We should be getting a new um, enemy. Looks like it's going to be Uglano. We're going to be getting some awesome epic maps, which is pretty great, and some ancient fragments. Along with 10k gold. Gold is pretty bad. I'm lucky I was able to save up. I know gold might be a problem for you guys, so if you guys have a chance to get um, gold potions, red ones, for stuff that's not worth gems, uh, I recommend you try getting those because they're really good uh, for free to place. So we had no attack back line. We're going to keep it like this. Okay. This guy looks really cool. Let's check him out. Okay. His name was... Oh, 
Ernamaz? Ernamaz. Ernie here. Okay, he has closest. <laughs> that's a cool little ability. Little flamethrower. Spread heal. That's annoying. And spread shield. Okay, he's... Dang, he's all around all, all, an all-rounder. We're gonna have to target him out. Or maybe since he just does heals, we can actually kill everyone else but him. No, yeah, we're gonna have to kill them in the back. It looks like they're healing quite well. So, I think I'm just gonna have to continue draining with him, if anything. That way he can sustain a little better. Damage to all enemies. I'm gonna have to swap us around real quick while he heals up a little. Okay. Drain. Target this guy back. Random. Okay, that's good enough. Perfect. So now we can swap back. I'm gonna zero SP my way to victory here, except for the drain and the heal, of course. Now he's gonna be trying to sustain himself, which is not gonna do anything for him, and we're able to catch up. Perfect. Nice. We're pretty much full uh, HPs. We don't have that much SP, but it's as if we started the match with 4 SP on my character, so that's not too bad. We're actually doing pretty good here. Alright, so it's just a team of three of these guys. This should be a walk in the park. Just keep targeting closest and healing up. I'm going to save the SP till we need the heals for my Omo. Perfect. Closest. Closest. Strongest. Closest. Okay, closest, closest. We're gonna keep going, keep going, keep going, and at the very end, we're gonna do a heal. Do a heal. Not good enough. Fine. Ooh, gems, nice. 29 gems, that is quite the gem bag. Nice. I love those gem bags. <laughs> I love them so much. Okay, I don't think I showed you guys where I got my accessories, so I'll show you guys again uh, right now in a second. There, closest, heal him up. Closest, closest. Let's do a random. Nice. Perfect. Okay, and that's because he evaded one of those hits. That means we hit him pretty hard. Let's go ahead and do the closest again. Closest, heal, closest, closest, heal, closest, closest. Nice. So here we're just going to spam zero SP until we need the heal right now. We're gonna drain, zero SP, heal, strongest, or the second, I always say strongest, I meant the stronger version of the uh, zero SP. Nice, perfect, okay. So this is seeming pretty easy. This is probably audible, but I just get too scared to do it. Um, I like taking things on a manual kind of route whenever it gets towards the mid game because you never know when you're just gonna get blasted out of nowhere. So here, I'm just gonna zero SP until we need the heal at the end. I'm gonna drain. Try not to kill him. I did. That's unfortunate. It's fine. I don't think there's anything here that'll just blow us up. Okay, he might. Ooh, well, there's gold here. I'll get it at the end. I think this is gonna be the last guy. Ooh, he is taking a lot of damage. I'm gonna use my mount skill just to catch up on heals. Okay. Nice. Okay, so I'm gonna target front guy because he's just gonna get healed like crazy. Okay, okay, I'm gonna do attack all to get two guys if I can. Okay, close enough, close enough. We're gonna heal and then attack. Perfect, okay. So again, just take out the, I'm gonna probably auto this. I wanna see how auto looks here. So it looks like we could have auto this, but again, it's just so risky. I didn't wanna risk it. But yeah, that's gonna be the end for that dungeon. We got 29 gems, which is great. We got a thousand gold and a thousand, uh, 1.1K XP. Pretty nice. Let's go to town. We got our little rewards here. Now, here should get a little more difficult. Find and defeat. Oh, it's gonna be a big version of Spooter, dude. Okay, so, ooh, we're getting some mount cuts. That's always good. And these elemental fragments never, ever, ever, ever make um, elemental runes. As of right now, they're not really that useful. They're not viable at all. But um, let me go ahead and show you where I got my accessory. So right now, if you see here, my accessory is going to be the Medusa's Bill. It's going to have the 24 block chance and 14 deflect chance. I got that from shop. And this is something that I recommend everyone buy. I've probably said this before, but I'll say it again a million times. If you're a tanker bait, do not wait for the sales unless you're very confident that you're going to get that random roll on that one item. Um, because here on the gearbox, if you click the large defense accessory, let me show you large defense accessory. If you click on this question mark, it shows you have a 3.4 chance of getting a legendary here. 
and if you come to the small one, you have only a 0.1 chance. So never buy the small one, ever. So here on the large, I'm gonna view it, right? It has two very, very, very good accessories. Um, these are good no matter what, pretty much. They are good because you can use this in invasion, you can use this in a lot of things, in, in quests, in dungeons, like, it's really good. And this one is just good all around because it keeps you alive. It's evade. Evade literally takes all the damage away from you. And it gives 20 right off the bat. This is actually the best evade accessory in the game. It's even better than the mythic version of itself. So this right here is probably the best case scenario. This one right here is still pretty good, especially if you build around deflect. Um, it's very strong. So um, you're going to want to build around block mainly to get 100% if possible and then stack deflect on top of that for now. But if you want to just full focus deflect, you can. Just know that block cuts damage in half for all elemental damage. Uh, so you're going to want to hit this because this has a lot of really good accessories. Or two, pretty much. This one, uh, block and damage reduction, is actually decent because it comes with 20 block. Uh, this one is terrible. Um, this one is terrible as well. And this one right here is terrible. So you just want these last three. These last three are all you want. Okay. Now, I feel like we're gonna struggle here, but let's go ahead and try this out. I still think almost save is in the back. Ooh, I can see what happened. I have more health somehow. Oh, because I switched to the bow. That is what's going on. Since I switched to the bow, my um, my Omo is actually weaker. So let's see, what is this game? 43. I wonder if I could reforge this. Can I reforge it? I could put this in health. And then I could put this in damage. Okay, I'm pretty low, but it's better than having me where I was. So let's go ahead and try this out. Good quest. And come here, and yes, there you go. As long as I'm lower than normal, that's all that matters. It's not too low. I'm pretty low, so it's a little scary, but we'll see how it goes. Turn auto off so we don't get destroyed. Okay, we just got a lot of chili pepper dudes, so I'm just gonna zero SP. Oh my, they are hitting very hard. I'm gonna have to save all my heals for him. Oh man, it looks like we're gonna need more um, total stats. We're not even at the boss yet, we already need a lot of heals. Hopefully, having the other enemies around us will make it easier, but it looks pretty bad right now. This is looking very scary. Just in case I die, let me pick up this gem now. Okay. Let's try this guy. This might be a big mistake, because he heals. Oh man, this looks bad. I'm gonna have to use my mouth skill. We cannot use Eulerius yet. Okay, closest we have to kill this guy right now. He's gonna be hitting us like a truck. I should've probably random hit that. Okay, zero SP, zero SP, zero SP, heal. Nice, zero SP. Uh, closest, zero SP, okay, zero SP, heal. Okay, we're looking good again. I had to use my mount skill, which is unfortunate, but Omo heals pretty good, so it might be fine. Do a drain. Um, target the front. Zero SP, zero SP, zero SP. Heal. Drain. Zero SP, zero SP. Nice. Perfect. Okay, so we have a little reset. That's awesome. We're doing pretty good now, but it is looking scary. We did lose our mount skill, which is pretty viable in my opinion. Okay, so we have to get rid of this chili pepper guy. Actually, how much health does this guy have? 1140 325 I don't know how this guy has 325 it just does not die let's try to target him out mmm let's, let's just do the closest do random okay okay strain and we could probably target him out nice okay we can target him out that's one of the heals let me do that one heal I'm gonna have to heal drain target him out perfect okay so that's one healer out of the way which is great gotta keep healing though keep draining Nice. He got empowered dual strike critted. That's disgusting. Okay, let's go ahead and heal up. And we can just zero SP all the way and we'll be fine. Uh, I'll drain just to get my little bit of health back. Okay. So here's a gem bag trying to hide from us. Another chili pepper. So at some point, we want to try to build SP. The good thing is my guy is loaded with it. I'm going to do random. Oh my god, that does so much damage. Okay, so I'm going to target the guy in the back. Perfect, okay. So I'm gonna do the stronger move, the back move. Closest, 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 
close. So I'm going to zero SP. I'm going to zero SP all the way through so I can save up my SPs. Just in case the boss is coming up. I want at least two or three on each. Perfect. Awesome. So we have plenty of wiggle room right now. We should be coming up on the boss fairly soon. He might even be right here. Yeah, there he is. Okay, so let's see. How do we have everything? We're pretty good. Yes. This is going to be scary, but here we go. If I destroy you, the commander will make me lieutenant. You know what that means. Okay. Oh, he's by himself. I feel like he's just going to one shot then if he's by himself. I'm going to have to use all my strongest. That is definitely my strongest attack before I lose all my SP. I'm just going to keep nuking him out, nuking him out. Just keep nuking, keep nuking. Don't even worry about heals. If you're full health here, don't even worry about heals. Just keep nuking him out. Perfect. Awesome. So whenever you see an enemy pretty much by himself, that usually means that he's just a very strong version of himself. So you really want to kill him before or her uh, before they're able to get up SP and destroy your team. So let's just go ahead and continue on through this. Just keep doing closest, closest, heal. Zero SP, zero SP, zero SP. Okay, keep healing up. We should be able to get through this. This should be the last enemy. If not, there'll be like one more. And we still have all our pots, so we are actually doing pretty good. We actually only needed the three legendaries so far, and that's pretty hype because I was starting to get worried. Okay, now we're just gonna do damage so we could hurry up and finish this area. Nice, okay. What's next? Awesome. That should be the end of the whole area. Okay, so we got 19 gems. Wow, we were getting quite a bit of gems here, huh? And 1,200 XPs. We should be getting to our first dungeon. Nice. So there's the Mount Guts. Yes. So I'm going to click on that. It says, Finding Defeat King Flame Talon. Okay, 100 gems. Wow. Soon enough, we're going to be able to roll another um, pet um, egg. That's pretty cool. And we're going to get a major item of Rain Scroll. These are nice. Always nice. Um, I don't think there's anything new here. It's cool that these give uh, resistance. That's really nice. Go ahead and enter. And we have our team here. Oh, I'll leave them like that. That's fine. All right. I'm going to go ahead and auto on through this until I get to the boss. And I'll see you all in a bit. Surrender to the Rajan power, heroes. Your will is strong. But I am stronger. <laughs> what? Don't you like my heavy metal? Dang. <laughs> okay. So let's check him out real quick. He has 2.5 fire damage. 12.5 fire resistance. He does damage to the strongest enemy. Fire damage, to be exact. Fire damage to target enemy. Oh, that's pretty cool animation. I actually like this one too. Uh, deals fire damage and drain from the closest enemy. And deals fire damage to the furthest enemy. So you're going to want to make sure that you have your um, DPS in the middle because they do have a furthest ability. And um, they do have a decent amount of speed. So you're definitely going to want your DPS in the middle and have your bait in the back with your tank up front. I'm going to go ahead and auto on through this. Down. 100 gems. Wow, we were just getting so many gems, huh? It's nice. Okay, let's check out this next flag. Clear the dungeon of all enemies. Okay. Here. We have more layers. Olby. Ooh, uh, uh Bruyagaya. Bruyagaya is pretty good. To... But not to use, sorry. The Odibus is a pretty good, um, tank. So, um,. I'm not entirely sure what they need to be crafted, but if it's nothing like an epic um, raid boss then, or raid familiar, then you um, could probably look into making Theodibus as a good um, uh, bait. He's pretty good, uh, pretty similar to Glarstos. Okay, yeah, so that's going to be the only thing you would probably want from here would be the Theodibus schematic, and the only thing you can make him check these out. No, and no. We're going to go ahead and enter. It's going to be clear dungeon of all enemies. We'll put me second again with all the back. Hilarious up front, of course. Make sure we turn auto off. Oh, this is a pretty cool area. Let's check him out. Oh, he looks awesome. 
that looks pretty cool. I love all the little Melvins. So let's click on it. Okay. Earth damage, huh? Okay. Deals earth damage to the weakest enemy. Okay, so he automatically is going to start targeting me. So I might want to put a staff on me because I'm going to be getting hit by all of these guys all the time as their only ability, or their only zero SP ability. So that's going to hurt a lot. It's going to poke me a lot. So spread shield teammates is another one. That one is that one. Okay. Um, spread heal teammates again. So this one's spread shield and this one's spread heal. That's crazy. So he's going to be a healer that pokes me out. So I'm going to have to switch to the staff after this. Go ahead and use your SP, your SP, your SP. See how I'm the only one taking damage? I'm going to be the only one taking damage in the whole game. So keep healing me up. Doing strongest there. Like nobody has to worry except me whenever the baits are going to suffer the most. So you want to make sure you have a bait familiar or you want to make sure you're healing your DPS if they're weaker than you or lower your health to be lower than them if you're going to be playing a tankyish role. Just don't be too low because then you're going to die really fast. So I'm going to have to take it out. These guys might actually kill me before I could switch to the staff. Okay, good thing Omo has really good heals or I'd be destroyed. Okay. Zero SP, zero SP, zero SP, zero SP. Nice. So I'm definitely gonna come here right away and switch to the staff. I have to remember that I have to switch this to health. Okay. We can still right under Omo. It's great. Okay. I should be right under Omo. I'll check out his health right now. I am pretty weak. They're all gonna attack me right now, right away. Oh my god. Okay. So. Hey, this is cool. I have Earth uh, powers. Deals target teammate. I might just use my mouth skill because it... um, I'll do this one on myself. Okay, that doesn't help too much, but it helps a little bit, and that's fine. Again, we're gonna be doing damage with Hilarious mainly and healing ourselves while doing damage with Omo or saving the heal for ourselves as well. So Hilarious, believe it or not, is going to be the main damage dealer while you keep yourself alive if you are playing the bait role or you're going to be pretty much replacing whoever the lowest health is as the guy that's going to keep healing themselves. So Omo would just keep spamming heals if he's your weakest while you and your tank do the damage or vice versa. If you have um, another DPS and your tank, then you're just going to keep um, healing them or doing the damage while they heal each other. And that's how you'll get through this if you're having a problem here. So here I'm pretty high health. Let's go ahead and check out my um, abilities. Uh, up to 3,600, up to 5,100, and that's weakest enemy. What was this one? This was closest, right? Yeah, closest, weakest. This is gonna be up to 2,900. All enemies though, which is pretty good. Pretty good, but it's not the strongest. I'll only use that if you're gonna poke someone out at the end. And of course the heal that we have only goes up to 2,975. So I don't think we can auto this, so we're gonna have to keep doing this manually, unfortunately. And they're just gonna poke me in. Good thing is I also have deflex, so deflex should help. Always ignore the trader. He never has a good. He never has a good trade, honestly. Okay, so I'm gonna heal myself. I have enough SP to use the random. Nice. And then I'll actually be able to poke up. Back. Perfect. You do random again. Ooh, nice. So hit him strongest. All enemies heal me. Closest. Weakest. Random. Perfect. Okay. We're gonna do the stronger attack. Zero SP, zero SP, zero SP, zero SP, and zero. Nice. Okay. So this dungeon's not looking too bad, but it is kind of annoying. Um because they're just gonna keep trying to poke me out, which is unfortunate. Okay, this should be the last guy. Let's check him out real quick. Only three. Perfect. Okay. So since he looks like he's the last guy, I'm gonna see how auto would have been. See, I always underestimate how good auto is sometimes because I honestly did not think that would have happened at all. Oh, apparently we have one more. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> we have more than I thought. Okay, let's see how auto is. Nice. Honestly, I'm a stronger bait than I thought I was. I'm getting there. That accessory really helped me. So keep rolling that chest, guys. Keep rolling that chest. I promise you that is the best chest for you guys. If I would not tell you guys otherwise, then I would not be using it on my own character otherwise. Trust me. It's a really good accessory, um, especially the aerial stabilizer, the other one that's in there. 
Okay, so we actually got one of the familiars, which is pretty cool. Uh, we have some XPs and some gold. Let's go ahead and continue on. This is getting very close, though. My TS is barely able to cut it. I'm pretty sure you for sure need the three legendaries at minimum. And um, I do have a plus three out of four mount. So you might have to use either an epic or a plus three or more mount. Now, I also have the electric damage, which is helping me out, I believe. So that also could be um, a possible factor on why we're doing so well, but I'm still unsure because it is only 3% each. Okay, this is um, pretty useless, so I'm just not going to use that whenever I finish getting that. Let's go ahead and continue. Alright, let's go ahead and check this out. Any new people? Looks like the same. Um, I'm going to manual because that usually means if you go up a flag, they get a little more damage sometimes. So don't know if I can keep... Let me, tr let me try auto. Let me try auto. Okay, auto seems pretty safe. I'm gonna keep autoing, and if I have any problems, I'll come right back. Okay, we got some XPs and gold. I was actually somewhat able to auto that, which is pretty nice, but unfortunately, I'm not quite all the way there yet. I got this uh, little picture pretty useless. Um, let's see if I actually got any more um, enchants. Nope, nothing good. Okay. We are going to go back to quests. And we are now here with another a new enemy, finally, I think. So, Nugget Mineshaft. Let's go ahead and go through this. It's going to give us a super potion. Not that great. Honestly, I only use super potions if I'm attempting a very close ancient dungeon. I don't think I'm using it for anything else. Save them up. You never know. Go ahead and enter. Since there's a new familiar, there might There's nothing. Go ahead and enter. We will keep it the same. It doesn't matter where we put them. Alright, okay. so we have this guy. This guy's like new out of nowhere. Hopefully we don't have those other guys. Okay, awesome. I was tired of that. Okay, closest, self, self. Oh my god, I think we can just auto this. Let's try autoing it. Yeah, just reading those abilities, I knew we can just auto this. Okay, so if it's going to just be these guys the whole dungeon, I'm going to go ahead and skip all the way until I get to the bigger version. Hey, chorizo. The commander doesn't allow messing around. Okay, let's mess everything up. Destroy! I'm pretty sure we can auto him. He's literally just going to be healing himself, so... This should be pretty easy. Just auto on through. If you have the same TS as me, which you should, uh, you should literally just be able to auto him like nothing if you followed the guide correctly. Perfect. Awesome. Even with Walcom, I believe that would have been pretty easy. Um, let's go ahead and go to Tim. Or Walcom, I meant Velk, sorry. Okay, so we got our very useless elemental fragment and our almost useless semi uh, super potion. Nice. We got some gold, which is pretty good. Awesome. We have the second dungeon open, Terra Nova Mines. I actually like this boss. Chirago, he's pretty cool looking. Um, we're getting a major experience soon. This is probably one of my favorite things. Hopefully we get a gold one soon. I want a gold one. And another 100 gems. Let's go ahead and check out drops. Everything should be the same. Yeah, I believe it. I think you need Truago for Fiota as well. So. Go ahead and enter. And again, just uh, you're going to use your carries. Same as always, you're going to want um, pretty much the same layout you had in the last map. But with your carries. So you're going to want your bait in the middle or in the back if you feel like using it from the back. I'm going to put me in the middle, put your DPS in the back, and in the front. There you go. Show some. Go and accept. Alright. So if there's not going to be any new familiars, I'm going to go ahead and just auto on through this until we get to the bottom. Enjoy. Oh! There was someone new there. There was someone new. I saw him. Okay, let's see if we can catch him. Okay, let's try to- Oh, there he is, there he is, there he is. Hopefully, <laughs> he's on the front, because I have x story. Okay, 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 we're good, okay. Well, let's check him out. He looks pretty cool. Du- Durgok. <laughs> Durgok, okay. So he does closest enemy, and all enemies, and he seems like he is a- What of a DPS? He has earth damage, he is a green, so I don't really worry about him too much. But he does have that all enemies poke damage with a decent amount of speed, so you would probably want to target him out. 
Um, but I still think you want to target out the other green that targets the weakest before anything. So I'm going to continue autoing until we get to the boss. Okay. Your surrender conditions are not acceptable. You want a plane to leave the combat? You got it. I respect your life, but your plane will go down, man. Okay. <laughs> Let's check him out real quick. I'm glad he didn't die automatically. So, he does seem pretty... Pretty damagey. He seems like a damage dealer. So, furthest enemy right off the bat. So, you're going to want to have your bait in the back. And then, um... If you can swap, I... Yeah, maybe not. You're going to want to have your bait up front because they don't have an attack closest until they get the 1 SP. So you might want to have your bait up front or your bait in the back. It's kind of hard to tell. Uh, it looks like your bait's going to be unsafe no matter what. So you got to play this a little safe if you are going to be using familiars or um, lower rank carries. But um, he does seem like DPS. He has furthest damage random, which is scary. Um, closest enemy and target so he pretty much targets the whole board um it just depends on what he has I mean, sp wise and then he looks like he just comes with these two guys it might be different for y'all but if he comes with these two guys they are going to be targeting your bait like crazy i'm going to go ahead and auto on through this all right we got some experience and some gold Go and go to town. I'm sorry if I sound a little different, guys. I'm pretty sick today, <laughs> but I wanted to get this video out for you as soon as possible. Okay, so we got another hundred gems. This is looking so nice. I can't wait to roll it. Um, egg chest or egg. That's some more major. So we're gonna be going to the first flag of the third part of this. So this is going to be hard. So it's gonna be the Underdome. Clear the dungeon of all enemies. Let's see if it's. We got two mythic. Lunaku, which I've never seen or made. Fresh year, not that great. Okay, don't know. A lattice is good, but the problem with a lattice is he's kind of um I don't know, he's um he's a little harder to make. I wanted to make him, but a lot of people were telling me against that. If you're able to make him, I do recommend making him. He's a very good bait. But um Glarge Dose does seem like your best option right now. Robbie. Okay, yeah, there's nothing here. Let's check this one out. No, okay. So none of this seems useful other than the skeleton key and the enchants. <clears throat> so I'm gonna enter. Alright, so we're going to have it like this, the normal standard layout with the DPS in the back. Okay, turn auto off. These guys look really cool. Oh, I do remember this area. This area is actually very hard. Okay, we might need more total stats. So this is air damage. Strongest enemy. Closest to weakest enemy. Okay, so if he's gonna be doing that, I definitely have to put myself in the. No, I'll leave myself there. Let's try that out with me there. He does a lot of damage for strikes. So let's go do. We're gonna just keep doing closest. Oh, your health is low. I think. Oh no, that was just empowered. So we should be able to do this pretty easily. We just gotta keep healing up Eulerius. So I'm gonna save all my SP for Eulerius to heal. Bad. Um, let me put him second. How are they just attacking me? They don't have a closest ability online yet. It's crazy. Weird. Okay. Go ahead and heal me up. That to you. Rain. There you go. This is very hard. So so far, this guy is actually a menace. <laughs> okay, there's another guy here. Closest, closest to, or closest to time. Sorry. This is looking bad. I'm gonna heal me, and then I'm gonna use almost heal. Oh, that empowered crit heal was so. The closest, closest, closest. Drain. Okay, we're gonna have to heal him. Have to heal him. I need to try to save two. Oh, not looking good. It looks like we're gonna have to put more um, little stats on. I'm hoping we can do this now. Okay, let's heal Omo, and then let's use Omo's heal. Close, close. Zero SP, zero SP. Okay, 
So right off the bat, I can tell you right now that we are going to need more total stats. So before I go ahead and waste this run, I'm gonna go ahead and put on my ring. Or my neck, sorry. Let's go ahead and go. We might still lose because I'm pretty low. Right off the bat, they're gonna hit me really fast and kill somebody. Okay, we're actually luckily alive. So I'm gonna go ahead and heal Omo. Zero SP, we have no choice. Drain, we're gonna heal Larius now. And we're gonna use almost heal. Somehow that heal literally did nothing. Okay, so let's just heal up Omo now. Lucky, closest. Okay, we got rid of him. Drain, okay, this is looking very bad. I'm gonna use my major on him since we have some saved up. Closest, ah. I'll try the major on these two. But it is looking pretty bad. We were already weak, which is unfortunate. Okay. Come on through here. Let's see if we can do this. We're all out of pots. You can see here on the left for our guys. Let's go ahead and continue. All right. They seem to be nuking Yolarius like crazy. Oh my. Okay. So let's just try to do this it does not look like we can even do this let's try this heal okay this area is very difficult i don't know if we can get through this at all okay that's game i feel like i'm just going through the inevitable right now unless there were the last enemies which i doubt i feel like there's at least two more waves I think he might be the last, but I doubt we're going to get past him. I have to keep him alive so he can heal me. Keep. Okay. Doesn't look like... Yeah. Okay. This is looking pretty bad. We might have to switch up our team. Now, it looks like we are lacking damage because we're not killing them fast enough. So I'm going to try doing just me up front. Might be a mistake. And using it to Oma. Okay, let's check it out. And accept. I'm not sure how this is gonna turn out, but we gotta try. I have no other choice. Heal, heal. Wow, those heals were probably the lowest their heals could give me. Yeah, they're like the middle brown heals. So that's probably yeah we can't do this we can't do it okay let's go to town that one more time but we'll try it with me up front and hilarious in Me up front might be good because I do have quite a bit of absorb because of the ring. Closest. I'm gonna save my SP for heals. Okay, I do have block. I might be a better front for now. We're gonna keep doing this until I need to heal. Heal up. Closest. Go ahead and do damage right away. It's heal him up. Heal myself up. Okay, closest to get rid of some damage. I'm gonna have to heal myself up here. Heal, okay, heal myself up again. This is looking very close. Okay, and I'll just do zero SP, so I can... Zero SP, zero. This is looking scary. Right here's more gems, yay, okay. Let's go on through. Oh, there's a health strike here. I love seeing health strikes. Okay, ouch. Let's do heal. Do my mouth skill. Do strongest. Oh man. Okay. Okay. It's too closest. Heal myself. Okay. Stronger version heals. Nice. Okay. Um, I'm gonna heal myself again. Nice. Do that ability. That ability will heal me. Okay. Closest. Let's do heals. Seven thirty-six. That was the worst heal I've ever seen. Omo do. Good thing is there is a health shrine right in front of us. Let's go ahead and try that out. 
Yes, please. Almost not doing his job too well today for some reason. Okay, so this is still looking pretty bad. Let's go ahead and try to be careful. Save all the SPs for heals. All of them for heal. Heal? Okay, I definitely need some of my own heals. I'm going to have to swap with Yolarius, and I'm going to put Omo in back just to be safe. Brain, I still died. It's great. Okay, provide myself with a full. Let's go ahead and use heals there. Do drain. We're going to have to. Yolarius just cannot hang here right now. Okay, okay, nice. We're going to go ahead and put the order back to the way it was. Closest, closest. There are still so many enemies. I think this might be a stopping point, guys. All closest. Go ahead and swap out right now. All I'm low. Okay. Heels. Okay. Swap back. Add it. Do that one. The faster you take out some of the damage, the better. We might even have to just switch our heal strat just doing damage, but we'll check it out if that doesn't work. Looks like the last two enemies. This guy. Okay, so this is scary. Heal. Heal myself. Damage. Man, that's a lot. Okay, because I'm halfway and I am already potioned out for my guy. I'm going to switch him around like this. Heal myself. Heals. Okay. I'm actually going to do some damage here to get rid of it. Okay. Now I can switch back to the day after the head. Alright. See, sometimes you're able to do flags. You just have to keep messing around with the layouts. It's a little confusing, but sometimes you just got to keep rotating around to see what works. And it didn't seem like that would work, but so far it's working. Now, if we lose me here, that's going to be game, I think. But let's try. Be careful. Okay, heal right away. Nice heal. Thank you, Oma. Okay. So, I'm gonna do some damage. Nice. Do a heavy hitter here. Okay, we have to swap around. If I die, that could be game. Oh, that would have been very bad. Get myself, please. Stay alive. Heavy damage. Heals. Heal myself. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and potion him. Save on a revive. Okay, now we're gonna put me up front and put him back. Heal. Okay. Very bad. Heal me. Heals. Nice. Okay, Omo probably saved the run. Okay, yeah, Omo definitely saved the run. Omo, you are a champ sometimes. Awesome. Okay, we were able to get through that, but like barely. So if you guys are struggling, Honestly, um, I know I have better gear uh, than some of you because I have the legendary accessory and I also have the mythic neck. Now, if you don't have the mythic neck or a legendary accessory, I really do think you are going to need another um, either mythic leg set piece right here. Mostly leg legendary. I want you guys to use legendaries right here in the ring slot more than likely for sure so i definitely recommend getting another one if you guys are struggling but do try the rotating technique that i was doing um you want to make sure that you guys are always all around it like almost still he could have been put up front for one hit he could have been revived since he had low sp so he still could have taken the hit i still had a game plan just in case i really had to get into some hairy situations and do something to save myself so the thing is you just got to keep rotating around Try to plan it out and you should be able to do most of the content here but again if you do not have what i have um or you're just having um, really bad rng you really should try getting a legendary ring it looks like we might have to have a five piece right here i still barely just did the first flag and we have to go all the way to the second one so this is gonna be the clear dungeon of all enemies was this one i think it was so this is looking pretty dangerous um enter will leave me up front again I really just feel like this is going to be bad. Let's try this out. Oh, we got a new guy too. This might be scary. Hopefully he doesn't do too much. 
Um, closest shield and heal. Okay, he is going to be very annoying. But that means that he... Yeah, we might have to do this. Do that, actually. Yes. Okay, so he is pretty chumpy. Um, we have to get rid of the guy in the back more than anything. Cool. And then here we can just SP save. We should be able to SP save, but we're not able to for some reason. He is he saved. Nice. Okay. Okay, so that guy actually kind of made the dungeon a little easier in my opinion. I'm going to save the SP shrine. Even when the clouds block it off again. Alright, so... Target the guys in the back. Thing. Nice. And the weakest ability on the staff helps you finish those random hits off from Homo. So this is a very good combination. I'm going to drain to stay uh, sustained up front. I'm going to heal with my staff. Heal here. Here I Ooh. That took more than half his health. I think it's because... Is earth damage stronger than air damage? I do not remember. I'm really bad with it. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and do... Heal. Do a heal. And and leave him on the back. Okay, cool. I'm gonna drain. We have to swap Omo in the middle now. Zero SP. Heal Omo, of course. Closest. This is looking very bad. We need those really good heals, Omo. Let's go. Oh, those are terrible. Omo, I hate you, Omo. Okay, we're gonna have to res Omo. That's unfortunate. And we're gonna have to major potion us so we don't waste anything. Actually, I might leave myself. Um, Low and just do the good old swapperoo. I might be able to save on a potion for me. No, I wasn't able to. Man, these guys are very <laughs> relentless. I think he hit me with this right here. So I should have put myself in the back. Dang, okay. Ooh, we were able to take him out pretty, pretty fast. Okay, that's fine. We did a little reset. We have no potions, but okay, let's see if we can do this. This is looking pretty bad. Oh, man. Oh, we did not want to just run into him. Okay. Okay, we have to take him out in the back really bad. Really, really bad. The back line, take him out. Let's heal up. Zero SP, zero SP, zero SP. And heal me. Drain. Nice. That wasn't too bad. The Hilarious is looking a little weak, but we're already creeping on an SP buildup for Omo there. I'm going to take this guy out already. Think that we're done. Let's forget about them. <laughs> okay, so these guys are probably going to wipe us out, honestly, because it is the second flag, meaning they're a little harder, and there's four of them, and Hilarious is getting nuked. But let me go up front, they put him in the back, and hopefully they don't nuke him in the back. We're gonna have to do some damage here. I can't really waste the heal right now. I have to do damage. Again, if you're having problems, sometimes damaging is. It's the way to go. Sometimes you can't tank, sometimes you just have to damage. It looks like doing the damage versus the healing was the way to go, so maybe I'm wrong in all this. Maybe you just have to start doing damage instead of healing. But I'm making it through this, which is fine for me, but it seems like putting me up front is the safest bet. Ooh, I deflected back. Nice. Okay, so let's try to do random. Unfortunate. Do strong. Ooh, yes! Yes, we got him in the back. Perfect. Okay, so we're just going to heal up by draining and healing. Draining closest. Heal me, okay. Now we're gonna zero SP all the way. Perfect, okay. Awesome. We went ahead and finished that dungeon, but now we are going to be getting to probably the hardest dungeons, though. Oh, we had the SP shrine the whole time. We didn't even use it. That's amazingly hilarious. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and check this out. I'm really nervous. Oh my. Ooh, but we get a PvP ticket roll. 50 tickets, nice. Okay, that's awesome. Let's check this out real quick. We got some mud here. Anything new? Doesn't seem like anything. Seems like it's just the mud. Okay, let's go ahead and enter. We're gonna have me up front as well. Same layout, and we're gonna have you layers in back again. Almost in the middle. Okay. <clears throat> let's turn this off. I hate this little dude right here so much. Look at the. Yeah, I'm gonna try just doing damage. Oh, I can't. Right? I have to heal. I really. Do as much damage as I can. Boom, boom, okay, since we were able to take him out, can... okay, now I feel a little. Oh no, I don't feel safe anymore. Take me back. 
Heal me. Thank you. Okay. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. Let me go back up front. Let's heal me. Okay, nice. And let's heal me again. Awesome. And drain. Give me those heals. Give me all those heals. Give me them right now. Alright. Okay. So, another one of these guys. These guys really don't like me. Those clouds look so angry. They look so angry. Okay. So, damage. And in. Get out of here. Closest. I need to heal for sure now. Okay. Okay. Does anyone use potions yet? No. Cool. Nice, actually. Let's do damage. Damage? Okay, he heals. I need the heals. I need the heals now. I need the heals. Okay, that, that deflect might have saved my life. Okay, nice. Okay. Drain. Heals. Heal Omo. Closest. Closest. That's good. We're able to feed off of this guy because he's just going to be healing himself while we heal ourselves which is great for us. Okay, we were able to reset that completely based off of one guy. So maybe keeping him alive isn't that bad of an idea. Okay. I absorb that, which is phenomenal. Honestly, I don't know who to target out with these two because they're both pretty menacing. It's one's just like a weaker version of the other. So regardless, it doesn't matter. This guy really doesn't ever do the weakest because he's always nuking me out regardless. So um, just take out whoever at this point when it comes to these at least, these two options. Okay, so Eulerius and back might get targeted. I'm going to switch them out real quick and then drain, heal, and then now I'm going to switch them back to the back. Oh wait, no, because he's He's holding SP. He's holding SP. Maybe I can take him out? Okay, now I'll put him in the back. Perfect. Okay. Well, let's heal me up. He can drain, and then we can do the heal there. Heal me up again. Nice. Okay. This guy really doesn't like me. I keep saying attack closest to, but it's a cl attack closest to times. So sorry if I say that wrong. It's just so confusing because they could just say attack closest twice, but they don't. So it just confuses me. Okay, so let's go ahead and check these out one more time because I want to make sure I know. So attack closest two times, attack closest, and attack closest two times, and weakest. Okay, and strongest, strongest as well. Okay, so I'm going to heal right away. Do the weak one to find out who the weak link is. Closest. Okay, hit him again, again. Unfortunate. I'm going to have to use a major here because only because this area is really hard, I'm going to be using majors. So I'm going to random enemy closest. Cool. Nice. Okay. So it's unfortunate that I died. Now it's a little risky to play with me up front, but we don't really have another option. I think it went all the way back. Let's see. Should we turn auto off? Okay. Oh, we still have the boss type enemy. That is not good. I forgot all about him. Okay. So we have to damage, weakest, damage. Oh, I gotta go to second. If I want to Heal me. Okay, now I'll put all my way back. Heals, closest, drain, closest. Heal, closest, heal all, closest, drain. Now we have to do as little damage as possible if we can help it. All the heals should go to the areas. Okay. Every bit of heals goes to the areas. And four. Oh. This is looking scary because I forgot to swap. And it's a big version of the guy that's really strong. Okay, let's try this out. Hopefully deflect rocks pretty well. Yeah, hopefully he's alone. Oi, Churo. It's not good to mess with the clouds. Have you ever been punched by a cloud? Sounds quite soft, actually. You are about to find out why they call me Cloudy Weather. <laughs> okay. Oh, God. <laughs> Stop. Okay. I don't know if I should be put up front. I think Eulerius is better kept up front, especially because he still has a... So... My person back's going to get nuked out. I've already died, so I can't be in back. I'm going to try to do as much damage as possible, actually. We have to kill him before anything. So I'm going to heal him because I don't think he'll take a bit. Use my mount skill. Probably a waste of a skill. This seems very possible. Honestly, it seems very possible, but 
Unless Omo, yeah, unless Omo can give me those shields, I don't know if we can do this. Yeah, this is looking pretty bad. This is looking pretty bad. Yeah, he, we can't, we can't. I think he's healing somehow. There's got to be some way he's healing. He probably has some kind of brain that we don't know about. Put Omo up front. Unfortunate. We should be able to do this. Let's try that one more time. Honestly, we could try it as much as we have to because I really think we got this. Really do. We could probably even get away with two almost. No, we can't. I want to try the double almost technique because then I can just rotate around like a lot and just rely on zero SP. If this doesn't work, we'll go back to the old strat. But again, it seems like we just have to damage these guys out. I'll damage them. Save SP as much as possible and just use zero SPs on the Omos until we need the heals. And I only heal myself. That's all I'm going to do. Try that out. It seems like it's working pretty well, actually. Surprisingly. So let's keep trying this. Okay. Again, we're saving all SP for heals only. If I had a better pet, this would be so much easier for me, because I'm not attacking that often. I'm going to hold the SP. Okay, perfect. Get myself. Heals again. Yeah, we're just going to keep resetting, buddy. What? Oh my god, he destroyed him! Yeah, I don't think we can do this. <laughs> I don't think we can do this after all. He destroyed the Omo in the back line. Holy. That's because he had quite a bit of health. That's insane. That's unfortunate, because if that didn't happen, we actually had a fairly good uh, chance. Now it's looking kind of dangerous. Maybe my guy just has to do damage, too. Like, maybe I'm just doing too little damage with my guy. Let me try doing damage. Because I do have a win hit. Um, or when I hit pet. So maybe that'll help me out. Let's try that out. Let's keep doing nothing but damage. Damage, damage, damage. I'll heal myself with my procs. Should. Yes. So I have to do multiple hits to be able to heal off of it. I wish I had an axe. Like, so badly. Okay. Keep doing those damage dealing attacks. Let's go. Maybe the staff isn't it. Maybe I need something with multi proc. That'll help me. Thing is, we've only lost one Omo so far, and here's the boss. Actually, this seems like a much easier run, if I'm not mistaken. Heal him up, and um, and then attack all, because that'll heal me a little bit. It'll give me shields too. Okay, so that's the good thing about that. It'll give me shields. But I gotta save. Oh, it's getting scary. Attack all, heals. Okay, we have to save SP here if possible. Okay, cool. I'm just afraid that I'm gonna get nuked out right away so hopefully <sighs> okay the deflect is helping a little bit heal random i'm gonna do damage auto heal myself i'm gonna have to let him stay in the back heal that's bad that's bad closest random Closest, heal him up. Closest, closest, heal him up. Closest, oh my god. Okay, I have to heal myself. Random, okay, Omo, you have to do the damage here, buddy. I have to heal myself. You have to do this. There's no other choice. Oh, I have to heal myself again. Okay, I'll heal myself again just to be safe. Random, okay, heal myself. Random, closest, closest, random. We did it! Oh, and he wants to come with us! Come on! You know you want to join us, man? Oh, We don't want you anyways. We were able to do that after all. That was actually quite a hard push. Now, this is pretty much all the gear I needed. Um, I had three legendaries and one mythic neck with a legendary accessory and a three out of four legendary mount. I used a staff for most of the run, but I also utilized the bow and arrow. The sword didn't seem too good, so I would say if you only had one um, weapon for that whole entire um, thing, I would say 
I would go for the staff. The staff seems like it was the one that could do just about everything in the game for me as the bait option, of course. And I was able to do a lot of multi hit and I was able to utilize my pet because of that. So I feel like the staff would be the best option, but it's also a good option because if you do have when you get hit brain, you can still heal yourself if that's not healing you enough. So I still think this would be the best option to want. And if you're a DPS, you might have an easier go at this. You might not. A uh, big recommendation is going for a um, familiar called Roy or R20Y, I believe is what it's called. And they are going to be in the Extermination World Boss. They're the epic familiar. Anyways, we got our ticket roll and we got some useless fragments. <laughs> okay, and there you go. We are at the last part. Let's go. Mistral. Mistral is needed for a lattice. Um, this is a pretty good area to farm him. This is the only area to farm him, I believe. So, yeah. Oh, yes, we got the gold potion. That's exactly what I was hoping we get. And we're going to get another 100 gems. Let's see, actually, is there anything here? Okay, okay. Uh, got the mud. The lattice. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's anything here. Okay. We're going to enter again. Keep the bait in the middle. Tank up front. DPS and back. Except. Now, I'm going to go ahead and auto on through this area until we get to the boss. Oh, who's the best pilot here? You think you can ride my tail? I wouldn't want to, buddy. You will never beat me. I feel the need for speed. Okay. No, no, I forgot to turn off auto. He died. Oh, no. Okay, I'll make sure we take a look at him. Let's just go ahead and go to town. Oh, man. Oh man, okay. Let's go look for him. Let's go look for him real quick. I feel bad. Well, goodbye Melvin's Genesis. It was nice seeing you. Kind of hard, but not really. Hello, Zord attacks. Okay, Zord attacks. Ooh, guys, I don't know if you noticed this, but we are now tier 12. We're tier 12, guys. We got this. Okay, let's go take a look at the familiar. He was a epic, and I know how he looks. He is right over. Um, are we able to see these already? Um, no. Okay, give me one second to find this guy real quick. Okay, there's Flametron, there's Trago, and here he is. I think that was him. Yes. Okay. So weakest enemy. Oh, that's cool. You can see a little animation. Okay, um, closest enemy. Nice. He has really cool animations. Heal self. And furthest enemy two times. Wow. So he seems like if you are going to fight him, you definitely don't want have to have your DPS in the back. Um, closest and weakest. You might want to have your DPS in the middle with the bait or tank in the back. And then your bait or tank in the front. Depending on what you're going against, it seems like he has a weakest as a zero, so you're probably going to want to keep your bait in the back. That way, if he does choose to use anything else here, actually, I don't know. I think you'd want your bait in the front, but it's still kind of risky. That or you can do the double DPS strat uh, the way I did it, but again, you are going to be using your carry, so it shouldn't be too bad. Now, before I go ahead and show you the loot for everything else, I'm going to go ahead and finish up these um, dungeons, and I'll be right back the loot recap. All right, now I went ahead and finished all of the dungeons here, and we do have an introduction to another one here, which is clear the dungeon of all enemies. Damage, uh, bonus damage is reduced by 30%, which means that it's going to be very difficult, and it's just something that we cannot do, unfortunately. Um, it does give you 10 stat points, which is very nice, but unfortunately, we're going to have to come back. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the loot drops here. So for invasion, which is uh, same drops as uh, expedition minus... Um, the mythics of course and the mounts if possible um so a bunch of cosmetics um i like the popsicle sticks they're pretty cool um we're gonna have the mythic here it's gonna be tier 12 as, as you can see this is honestly one of the coolest uh mount skins so if you can get it it's pretty cool lucky you <laughs> honestly but yeah we are going to have um tier 12 mythic nice to meet you not really worth it uh, none of the sets are worth it um and here you will be having the um water resistance legendaries tier 12 and you will also have the fire resistance legendary tier 12 and these are earth resistance tier 12 which is pretty cool 
So you do have your own little selection, and there's a few air resistance stuff here, I believe. Yeah, there is. Wow, that's crazy. So we also have some air resistance, which is nice. And uh, we will be having just some more schematics. So here you can get a lot of elemental legendary resistance um, legendaries. So let's go to Gauntlet, which is the same as Trials. And here we are going to... Here we're going to have two mythics, as always. We are going to have a mythic body, which is well below 30% health, 10% chance for healing skills to be twice as effective. Very, very bad. I do not recommend getting that. And we have the Nephilim Shield, which gives you four electrical resistance and four dual strike, which is pretty nice if you're a DPS, but um, it's not needed at all. Uh, now, this set right here, this is one of the sets that... If for some reason you are getting these dropped left and right, you have the whole set, right? Or you just feel like farming Gauntlet or Trials. Um, this set is actually very, very good um, for starting tanks and baits, only because it provides you with 40 block chance at the full set bonus and 25% max shields. You also give people behind you bonus resistance. So this is a very good set only because it'll help you get closer to that 100% block and it gives you 25% more shields, which is pretty good. That's that's a lot of shields. <laughs> so that's a pretty good set. I honestly do recommend if you can or want to go for it, you can. Just know that it will cost more to upgrade, but having the set bonuses should also keep you alive longer, helping you do better in the quest. So even if you plus through each of these, you could have a chance, but it is not guaranteed. Um, I do think it is a good option. But again, the legendaries will also be an option. But you will definitely probably need five, um, maybe even six legendaries this tier. So the set might be a viable option to where you can do a maxed out set with two epics. Um, that would be a good option if you are a tanker DPS. Again, only if you can get this in Gauntlet Trials. And then we do have the world boss over here. Go ahead and start off with the drops here at Orlag 12. Now, Orlag is going to have the same cosmetics. It's also going to have one mythic offhand, I believe? Main hand. One mythic main hand, which gives team at 1 SP the first time you evade per battle. So pretty much the moment I evade, if I build evade, this will give my team SP. Really nice if you're building SP, but in my opinion, since um, it's just, to me, it won't be too great. In my opinion, I don't think this is going to be that good of a, a weapon, so I would not go for this at all. Um, you do have the Locker as always, you do have the same schematics as always, and here are the fire ones that you saw in Invasion. Here, this set is going to be gained 2.5 evade each time you don't evade, up to 10%. Resets when you evade. Gain 3% air resistance when you evade, up to 12%. So, the thing with this is, it's nice if you're building evade. But the problem with that is um, it's very niche. Like if you've got the evade accessory, maybe this would be a better set for you. This would be a better set for you than probably the one in Gauntlet, but I still think the one in Gauntlet would be nice because it adds onto the block that your accessory already gives. And a lot of accessories right now give block. So I really do think um, going with something that provides block would be a lot more beneficial. So this is not that great of a set, especially if you aren't doing um, or lag to begin with, and you're doing more like Nether or something else at the moment, go ahead and check out Nether Drops. Same cosmetics, and we do have a very good offhand, um, only because it is something that some players even take to current tier, but it is, um, the thing about this offhand is yes, it is very strong. Now we have this one here, which is gain 10% damage and 10% damage reduction when you're the only, uh, the only one alive in your team. So the problem with that is it's pretty much based off being a tank or a bait. Uh, sorry if you heard that in the background. There's a thunderstorm going on right now. So, but yeah, um, this one's not really too viable. I don't recommend it at all, especially because damage reduction is nice and all, but right now it's just too too viable. Um, unless you're building damage reduction, of course, but again, it is for the only one. I don't recommend it. Um, we have the Dranith as always. Here's a set. I personally like this set, but again, it's not really that good. It's the uh, first time you are hit in battle, it's deflected, which sounds nice, 
but it's the first time you're hitting battle and every time you're first hitting battle it is a zero sp skill so that means it is really not going to be deflecting much um it's also freeze enemy team when you kill an enemy and that's only when you kill an enemy as a bait or tank you're really not going to be doing that too often and also this would be a nice dps option only because it does have a freeze team it also has water adrenaline I honestly kind of do recommend this set if you do want to go the DPS route. This one's not too bad, but um, it does get outshined and uh, by other things in the future, so it's really not too viable. I think as a DPS, you would be better off going max legendaries. Okay, let's go to Melvin Factory. Melvin Factory ends at tier 11. You only have two chances for Melvin Factory. It's unfortunate. Extermination might have a tool. Really don't. Extermination, you only have two as well. Extermination out of the picture. Brimstone has a tier 12, of course. And here, you're going to get the same cosmetics. Now here you have the Empower Per Teammate Alive. This is a very nice neck piece for um, DPS. The best DPS set for this tier is actually here, I believe, which is going to be Pyrock. Now it's a nice tier, a uh, nice tier, a nice set, but the problem with this set is it doesn't have um, combust or anything like that since it hasn't been released yet in this set so it's pretty weak the later on you go in the game i'd say even the next tier after it gets hit pretty bad so it's not the greatest it does give really nice bonuses but before i get to that let's read this other one here now this here is a very very nice main hand opinion. um it gives you damage reduction and damage bonus right off the bat and 25 percent chance to prevent your first death now that's nice if you're going to go the full legendary route and you happen to drop this as a tank or bait, it could be pretty good for you. Um, I do recommend maybe going for this. I'm not going for it, but like if you're farming this for some reason and you get it, I recommend keeping it. It's pretty good. And if I remember correctly, the skills on it are very strong. Um, now for the set, this is for the DPS route. This could be your option if you don't want to go full legendaries. It's plus 2% and power per enemy alive now i i don't know if you notice this i have been saying that you can use some sets tier 12 is where i honestly recommend you could start going for sets but you are able to do it with legendaries and i can't say this enough legendaries are the way to go if you can do it with legendaries you're being the most efficient trust me now let's get back to the set two percent and power per enemy alive that'll give you up to ten percent i believe in raid um plus 15% fire damage against unshielded, which is nice if they're unshielded. So you just gotta chip them down a little bit. Uh, plus 30% fire damage while above 60% health. So you can be doing up to a total of 45% damage if you are above 60% health while you're attacking someone unshielded. Pretty strong set, but again, it does get outshined by other things. Um, it really just depends what you're going up against. And here we do have the same old schematics. And yeah, this is going to be the area where you get the water resistance legendaries. Let's see what next here, tier 12. Let's go to Heroic and we'll check out. You have the same cosmetics. You have this little cool jet ski, which is really cool. Okay, you have Nephilim Jewel, which is 10% chance to heal self when you're about to die. See. They keep trying to give you guys these things that'll be good with each other. Like this would go good with the gauntlet set as well. I believe it's a neck chest. I have to go check actually. I don't even know if you can, let me check. But if you can put a ring, this would be a nice one. But again, it's not needed at all. Um, here, this one might go good with, um, what's it called? What's the last set? Let me see the last set real quick. Is it helmet? Believe it was helmet that dropped here. Okay. Yeah, it would go good with this one because it's missing a helmet, which is pretty cool. So let's go here. We're back where it ends. Yeah. Go back to the loot drops. So yeah, that would go good if you were going to be a DPS because while above forty percent health, speed increased by five percent. Speed is always very viable for a DPS. Um, the Nephilim Jewel, I believe, could go with Gauntlet. We'll check. Check it out. I think it goes with the gauntlet set really well as it will help out. If you want to max out this tier, I don't recommend you do. I recommend um, you just do all the legendaries if possible. Um, you have three mythic drops here, which is unfortunate. Um, and you have this set here, which is heals received from skills are 10% more effective. 
when you get hit gain 2% deflect chance max 8% so it keeps going up until you get to 8% and uh, this is water resistance and gain 2% when you get hit up to 18% now the thing is with this set um, if you are running a deflect based um, build you could always just go for a three piece set with legendaries um, which I might do because it would add another 8% deflect which would be really really nice so it just depends if I go for this I might try to get that offhand that gives deflect while shielded but I don't know yet I still might go for gauntlet or might just get all legendaries to begin with but as of right now um, I think legendaries are still the best route but that is going to be all of the world boss I know that was a lot of loot to talk about but this is the, the period where there is the most world bosses back to back to back to back it's going to be around tier 12 to tier 13 I believe um, so let's go ahead and go to Raid. Let's check out the Raid real quick. Goodbye, Charred Expanse. You were disgusting. Hello, Minions of Tyrannus. Okay, let's go ahead and summon. The last battle. Prevent the awakening of the massive Melvin Mech defeating the Electric Elemental Boss. <laughs> okay, let's check out the Heroic Drops. Here we have a ring, which your teammates take 3% reduced damage, which is pretty nice, honestly. Um, it's a decent ring. Um, here we have the Mythic Curios, always viable. Do not even pay attention to the Mythic Schematics. You don't need any of them. Don't even look at them. Don't care about them. Now this set is actually, in my opinion, probably one of the best uh, healer sets in the game, if not the best healer set in the game. If you want to do something a little different, let's say you want to be like some kind of healer tank or DPS healer, you can just know the, the healers aren't that viable. So yes, it is a very good set, but it is the best set in the worst category, making it okay. It's still decent because it has a 1% uh, team enrage when you are using a healing skill up to 6%, which is nice. Team enrage is always nice for your, for your team. 15% air damage while shielded, which is nice as well. And when healing, spread shield. Now this is nice because while you're healing, you're spread shielding for a certain amount and gain up to 1.5 healing bonus up to 15%. So you're just going to keep wanting to heal, heal, heal. Your job is to heal more than do damage because you're just going to heal. <laughs> healing is just going to, you're going to be pretty much keeping your familiars alive using this setup. It's pretty nice. It comes in helmet body i believe this is neck yes neck and main hand here you get the electric resistance legendaries which are pretty cool and yeah just ignore everything else here i think the only viable thing here would be eucalyptus Aladdis, and visalo everything else is like eh. and you don't even need those three like again there are other options for those three uh visalo is going to replace your healer which we're going to get dulag or blinka and um Euclid, uh we're going to replace that with drazig we don't need Euclid. and uh, Aladdis would be the only thing you would want to go for but i'm either going to go for theodobus Aladdis glars or maybe even start off with roy to start so for right now i'm going to be filling in the bait roll which is why i'm so hype about the gear i have because i'm able to stay alive and actually feel that bait roll but anyways let's go ahead and go into it we're going to go into the heroic dungeon we're going to keep things the way they are here i'm going to go ahead and accept and i'm going to make sure that i turn off auto so we can check out these familiars okay so he died right away that's unfortunate so this guy up front, Luminous, he deals damage to weakest enemy. Oh wow, he has really cool animations. Heals teammates, teammates for a certain amount, so he heals everybody. Spread shield teammates, which is nice. And damage target enemy three times. So he seems very annoying. He seems like a pretty strong healer slash DPS. Since he does attack weakest, he will be attacking your bait a lot. So you have to make sure you have a good bait. He's going to be a problem. Well, let's check this guy out. This guy has resistance and damage, of course. Okay, he has the strongest enemy two times. Electric damage to the closest enemy. Okay. Electric damage to the weakest enemy. The closest and weakest is going to be a little annoying uh, on the bait side. The baits are going to be getting hit the artist here. So you need a really good bait. Shield self for so-and-so. So he seems like he's just going to be a poker. He seems like he's the, the guy that's going to poke at the bait and the closest. So he's going to be attacking all the tanks pretty much. This guy right here, though, is going to be probably target number one luminous so far until I see the next guy. 
Okay, nice. Okay, so his name is Dan Danis. So he seems tankier than the rest, I think. Closest enemy two times. Well, that's pretty cool. Uh, weakest enemy. Everyone attacks weakest, so you're probably going to need two baits for this just in case one of yours dies. Um, deals damage to furthest enemy. Furthest enemy, okay. And uh, furthest enemy and close. So they're going to be attacking weakest more than anything, I believe. So you're going to want to probably have tank, bait, DPS, DPS, bait. That would be the best setup if you're going to be running a all familiar or a lower TS team that's probably struggling. That is what's going to be your best option. Um, I do recommend targeting out. Um, it's not this guy. It's not this guy. It's the other one that's missing. Uh, he'll be the best one to target out. And then you would probably want to focus the guy up front and then the one in the back. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and auto on through this until I get to the boss. I'll see you then. Have you ever want... Have your ever... Have your ever wanted to look beyond the clouds and the stars? Of course you don't. I will steal your brain, Fritz. Okay. <laughs> that was very weird. Um, let's check him out. Uh, okay, he has pretty tanky stats. So, damage furthest. So, furthest. Oh, wow, that is a very cool enemy. But, furthest seems like it's going to be getting hit pretty hard in this dungeon as well. Um, if you are struggling even then, you could always have a DPS in the middle with the tanks. Tanks on the outside and then baits in the secondary areas. Uh, pretty much making it a sandwich if you wanted to do that. That's always viable too. Um, but, again, um, it is easier to find a higher tier. Um, DPS friend that is a tank friend. But yeah, pretty much you're gonna want to target out everyone else but this guy because he is a tank. If you can take him out first, go for it. But if not, the other guys are gonna just be attacking your baits. This guy's gonna be attacking your bait too. He has weakest. Um, let's damage the closest. Okay, strongest enemy two times. And furthest two times. So yeah, it seems pretty easy. If he only does come with one guy, then maybe you might want to target him out. This guy isn't too strong. Um, he does have a lot of damage, though, compared to most of the other guys, so he will be hyper-poking. You could just poke him out in the back and then poke him. So it really depends on who's taking you out the fastest. I think the guy in the back might be target number one, though, only because he does have a lot more damage. Okay, and that was going to be it for this um, Let's Play. Everything seemed to go kind of sketchy in the last tier. Um, again, let me show you my gear. I did have a 3 out of 4 legendary mount. I was using 3 legendaries for most of that run until the last area, I, I believe. And then I had to bust out the Mythic Neck Blind Souls. If you do not have the Mythic Neck Blind Souls, I do recommend you get 2 maxed out legendaries because I know for a fact that that absorb was helping me a lot. And also, if you don't have Medusa, Medusa Bell or Aerial Stabilizer, another good legendary or epic um, accessory, then you definitely want two legendaries. Try to keep, or two more legendaries, try to keep your weapon as epic. And I do think the best weapon here, if epic, of course, would be the staff. If you do go with all maxed out legendaries um, for neck, ring, body, chest, or chest, helmet, everything pretty much, then you would be able to get past this even with um, really bad accessories and pets, I believe. But yeah, you should be able to do this with four legendaries if you have decent accessory and pet. And if not, then five legendaries with the staff should be all you need as a bait or tank roll. I believe being a DPS in this area would benefit you more, but I could be mistaken. So again, this is gonna be the gear. My runes are pretty much deflect based, um, my enchants are deflect, um, damage reduction and block based, and these are my stats right here, ignore the total stats for now because I did go up right now, I do have 35 block and almost 20 um, e flex. so that's why I was able to do as good as I did, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for being a part of the channel. It really does mean a lot to me that you guys are supporting by watching and helping out some of the people in the comments. You guys are awesome for that. Um, this is World Eater. I'm going to be signing off, guys. Thank you so much for everything, honestly. Have a great one, guys. Peace.